I think there's something inside my girlfriend's physically harming her. I've been with my girlfriend for over a year now, and I love her more than anything in the world. She is the Im she is the image image of perfection in my eyes. But there's one thing. She looks as though she she's gets assaulted on a regular basis. For a while, I genuinely thought someone was hitting her. She was. She always flinched whenever I would make a sudden move, but she always denied it and said, "It's just a reflex." I brush it off and tried my best not to think much of it, as she reassured me that no one has ever hit her intentionally. <laughs> However, it generally looks like this has happened on a daily basis. Every time I see her, she had new bruises on her legs, arms, wrists, and hips, as well as she scratches all over, as well as scratches all over her chest. I would be lying if I said I'd never thought she might be cheating on me with some abusive dick. However, these thoughts were immediately cleared after spending a few nights at hers. We are long distance, so we don't see each other that often. And when we do, it's usually for a day or two. Anyways, the first night I had fallen asleep for maybe one or two hours, when I woke up the weird, uh, it, to a weird sound. It sounded like someone struggling to breathe. I look over and I saw her with her hands around her neck, choking herself as she slept. I immediately grabbed her hands away from her neck, which caused her to wake up and look at me all confused and scared. I explained to her what had happened, and she started crying, saying that she was dreaming that a faceless man was choking her in the dream. The next night, I was too afraid to sleep in case she'd end up choking herself again, and I might not wake up in time to save her, so I stayed up watching videos on YouTube with one of my airports in. Around 2 to 3 a.m., I heard a scratching sound, a really loud one. I looked at my girlfriend, but she seemed still in peaceful under the blanket, but she, but the scratching sound continued, so I lifted the blanket to see my horror. The sight I saw was not pleasant, her fingers scraping her chest in long, deep cutting motions. There was no blood on the blanket. I shook her awake and once again she looked at me all confused. She looked at her hands and I just started to I just started stared at them. I tried to, talking to her but there was no response. I swear I saw a little smile. I touched her her and she looked and at me with a sleepy look on her face as if she only woke up now. I don't know what's happening. I don't think there there might be someone inside her causing her harm while she sleeps. I can't bear to think what of might happen if I don't help her, but I don't know how to help her. I can't be there all night to wake her up. She tried to tell me that it's just anxiety, but it feels like someone's, something's a lot more dangerous. The most terrifying nights at grandma's. So a lot of you know what the word W, what the W word is and what not dear are but I'm not sure if that's what this thing was. Me and my boyfriend were having a sleepover at my grandma's house and I and we went downstairs in the kitchen to get something to eat. Ray, my boyfriend enjoys going outside to 
to back porch while I while I make food. Well, I couldn't tell you why they do this. I don't mind. I plug in the fryer we would use to make the frozen fries and went outside with them to see what they were looking at. For reference, this was a glass sliding door and I could watch the fryer from outside to see if anything went wrong. Remy, my great grandmother's dog, needed to be let out so I put him on a leash and let him out while I stepped out. However, upon walking outside, I noticed Ray was looking down at the woods behind the house and I asked them they were looking at before and and I heard multiple twigs snap. I jumped a little, not being used to these noises because every other weekend when when he had our sleepovers and I came outside to talk to Ray, I'd never heard those noises. I then saw a quick flashlight. I then saw a quick flash of light, like a picture had been taken. Remy was already done using the bathroom. By then, or at least attempting to or attempting to use the bathroom because we still trying to train him to tell us to tell us when he needs to go and we and where to go i looked at ray asked and asked him to come inside with me while the two while the t twig steps continued moving closer and closer and closer by the second it seemed I felt like Remy in I, I left the Remy inside and got closer to Ray, asking them again to come inside. They did come in with me and good t and good timing because the fire was ready. However, Poodles Puddles, my grandfather's dog, needed to be let out. Fortunately, she knows how to ask and where to go, so I let her out while I was making the fries. I looked over at Ray, who was not sitting in the chair beside the cabinet There was that was near the stove. I t titled my head a bit asking them what was wrong. They said they saw it on the porch. As I am writing this, they also told me that they saw a flash of light as well, but not in the same place. Our neighbors had some kind of boat that close, that's close to our property near the woods, and this flash of lights and this flash of light lit up the whole boat, only for a second though. For more reference, I had no idea if this was a W word or an or not dear. We have a graveyard less than a football field away from our house, and a path leading right down to it. So it could have been something with that. I let Puddles back in even though I was scared to be out there alone with whatever was still making the twigs snap. Whatever it was, I just hope I'd never see it again.